What's pop, Miss Live? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're returning. I am your host, Golden Doe. Today, we will be watching 2003's House of a Thousand Corpses. House of Thousand Corpses was written and directed by Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie, I believe, is a metal musician. He also directed uh, the Halloween remakes, the first set of Halloween remakes. I believe he had, I believe there's two movies in that series. I could be wrong. He also directed the movie Devil's Rejects. And starring in House of a Thousand Corpses, we have, we have Sid Haig. Sid Haig had over 150 acting credits. But also, he was um, in a lot of exploitation movies in the 70s. Also starring in House of a Thousand Corpses, we have Karen Black. Karen Black had over 204 acting credits to her name. Um, she was Lord Summer's Isle in the Wicker Man remake. Um, I have heard all the nonsense about that movie, but I always heard that she did very well in that movie. So yes, I am going to watch that movie eventually, both of them. Also starring in this movie, we have Bill Mosley. Has over 135 acting credits to his name, but I know him from the Halloween remake that uh, Rob Zombie directed. He was also in uh, the Night of the Living Dead remake in 1999, not the original one. And he was also in The Devil's Rejects. But anyways, I have not seen this movie before, but it has been requested by multiple viewers. Uh, apparently it's a good, scary, gory horror movie. I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, you know, I love my horror movies, so hopefully this one is a good one. But um, for what I know is about Rob Zombie, his movies are kind of chaotic and bloody and gory, so I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. Usually people have really filthy mouths, so I'm expecting that. But other than that, like, share, and subscribe, you know, the whole YouTuber jazz. But anyways, we're going to watch this movie, we're going to have a good time, we're going to talk some mess, we're going to enjoy ourselves, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, see the alligator boy. Ride a famous murder ride. Most of all, don't forget to take home some of my tasty fried chicken. What? That's not random. Museum Monster Man Man and fried chicken. No, thank you. This has a very good atmosphere already. Open pencil and sticks it in his eyeball and twists it. What? He doesn't hurt himself though. He kind of twists it right next to his eyeball. Huh? <laughs> what? Here you go. You bust that prepper, I'm gonna bust your ass. I hear you. Keep your paws where I can see. Yeah, don't move. <laughs> well, I lost the holes on the side of the Ooh, Kansas City what? watermelon. What is this ass. movie? Bulls on face. Tell you what, Ski King. Why don't you just take your mama home some chicken, and then I won't have to stuff my boot all up in your ass. One. Fuck your mama. <laughs> Two. Go sit there. Bro, this dude is not hey, faced at all. You work at the hardware store, right? Idiot, bro. This is ridiculous. Most of all, fuck you! This is a very strange movie. I can already tell. Oh, that's a preacher mobile? Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. Oh, that sounds great! Fried chicken and gasoline. Next exit. There you go. Problem solved. Uh, <laughs> did you see the crocodile boy? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like to find that in your pants? <laughs> My friends and I, we're driving across country. We're writing this book, actually, on uh, offbeat roadside attractions. I know what your problem is. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all think us folks from the country is real funny like, don't you? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> there is actually a murder ride. A murder ride? Yeah. I don't want to go on a murder ride. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Murder ride! Wait for you, Sorry, Captain Spaulding. Yeah. Oh, this is so spooky. I, I can't say I would try this. Uh, Massacre's saddest, child killer, most importantly, cannibal. Oh, Fish God. Born. Usually I like stuff like this, but this is really uh, making me uh, uncomfortable. Dr. Satan has ever been discovered. Ah, Dr. Satan! <laughs> Maybe he lives next door to you. Calm down. It was hello. Hey, Dad. Wow, <laughs> Denise. We stopped for gas at this place called Captain Spaulding's. 
investigators still have no leads in the strange disappearance of the five cheerleaders from Ruggsville High School. Stupid, but I really want to see this tree. Do yourself a favor, son. What? Just forget about it. Oh, come on. I live Why would shit. you want to see a tree with somebody who was hanged? Wrong damn from. map. Thank you. Y'all going out of y'all way in the rain to see a, a evil tree? Nice, Jerry. Bill is right. We can't see anything. Uh, What's that? That's getting passed up. A couple more miles up the road. So you live around here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, you know where this Dr. Satan tree is at? Yeah, you know where that's at. Oh, wrong. If someone needs to be killed, you kill them. That's the way. And that's why you don't pick up hitchhikers. Oh, somebody said the wrong. Local authorities still have no lead in the mysterious disappearance of the five cheerleaders from Ruggsville. The girls were last seen leaving a cheering competition. I brought you here for a oh reason. Oh my god! Oh my god! You and your sentimental minds are doing me no good! Is this like Texas Chainsaw Massacre? These are some lunatics just because. Why the hell is she cackling? These are my dolls. They used to like chop their heads off and their arms and stick them up on the wall. <laughs> Christ! God! Oh, oh my god! Do that. Bro. You scared the shit out of me! She wasn't lying, but I don't, I, mm -mm, I don't trust her still. I don't trust this evil house. Don't drink that. She poisoned you. Wow. Look at him. He must this have been is going so uncomfortable. Look, I gotta call my dad and tell him we're gonna be late. Can I use your phone, please? Hello? Ooh. Ain't got one. <laughs> Y'all just think you're too good for the simple pleasures of Halloween. I would not want to be in that house. Hours. A couple of hours? Mary. What? Can't Tiny drive us to a phone? Tonight is Halloween-y. And to us, it is special. <laughs> he said it was possessed by the spirits. And Tiny was sleeping in the basement room where the fire started. Oh, gosh. A tiny was badly burnt. His ears were destroyed, and oh, he's a real lady killer. He gonna kill him? What's that spell? What's that spell? <laughs> Baby, you're damn right. Who told you your fairy fables about Doctor Satan? Oh, we heard it from uh, Captain Spaulding up the road at him. He'd really like to know. Why? Well, I thought you'd stick your head in the fire if I told you you could see hell. It's your time! What is going on in this movie? Why are they having a talent show at their house? Motherfucker. Yeah? Come on! I'll fucking cut your tits off and shove them down your throat! Baby, stop! Oh, come on! This bitch has got it coming! No, crazy for the second we fucking picked her up. Okay. Let's get out of this fucking nut house. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! This is horrifying. Oh my god! Oh. Oh no, Bill Bill they skinned him I, or some they boiled him or something. He ate him. Oh my god, this is so Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Fish oh fire. my God! Oh my God! No, no, no! This can't be real. This can't be real. Whoever's jerking off on that bell out there better be gone when I come out. I'm gonna rip your nuts off. They caught a gander at the display in the back, and they figured they're gonna run out and solve the great Deadwood mystery. 
And how'd they get that idea? How about you rack them same damn directions out for me, then? All right, all right. Don't get all true grit on my ass. That sound design is freaking awful. Oh, God. That sounds so nasty. And fuck that noise. That is horrifying. We're just gonna go home now. Somebody's gonna be right at the top of the stairs to stab you in the stomach. I knew it. I knew it and I still fell for it. Call it in. I think we found them. Yeah. Who is my favorite movie star? Who the hell is he? Was... M Marilyn Monroe. Hmm. Ah! Jesus. That was scalp. Scalp. What a straight razor. Underbelly of the beast. This movie I make is them. hard to watch. And I make them look. Hope you like what you see. You don't have to go to hell. What? This You're in hell. hell. This is hell. This is hell. hell. I hate fucked up fairies. <laughs> Just a dip. Tony, come quick. There's cars out there. Oh, my. This is very Texas Chainsaw. And you think he's some bitches have a yard sale, don't you? Yeah. Oh, my. What is this music? What are over? What are over? What are over? You got a gun in your hand, bro. I would have took a chance. You gonna get shot either way. At least you got a chance. Man. These people are just like just cold blooded lunatics. It don't even matter. Oh my god, what am I looking at? Did he skin somebody's face? He skinned somebody. Oh my god, that looks so nasty. <gasps> this movie is disturbing, bro. I'm the one who. And I'm the one who loves you when you're fucking dead. The boogeyman is real, and you found him. And you found him. And you found him. This is keep getting from hey, bad boy, to worse. Up here. Get in now. Wait, 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 wait! I want to say goodbye. All right, come on, get the bus. Thank God. She's gonna run too. What, she gonna run all the way home? Run. Run, rabbit, run. That's the same song from the movie Get Out. What is. Uh, I hate her character. Oh, 
Jesus, girl, what the hell happened to you? I got away. Thousand corpses. Um, yeah, this movie is is a nice little play on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Massacre. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre formula, and I really appreciate that. It's way more violent and nasty and just ugh, than I ever thought it would be. But I definitely like the like the that freaking gas station, bro. I mean, granted, I probably would I probably would go stop and see, but I got a cell phone. So, yeah, I wouldn't go see that tree. Like, that just, they started off good, and then Homeboy just kept asking questions, and then they started getting rude, and then it just changed, and oh, wow, 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 everybody died in the most gruesome and awful, brutal ways. Homeboy got scalped, he got stabbed up a bunch, and then he got drilled into, and then Homeboy got turned into a fish man. I don't even know how they did that. That's just, Wow. Homegirl got stabbed. I guess that's not about that bad. But she got tortured. And then other girl, homegirl at the end, she supposedly got stabbed in the head. Maybe. And she getting drilled. Maybe. Wow. This one will stick with me because that creature, what was that creature that had the nasty, ugh, it was disgusting. It had the slime come out. What was that? What was this whole family? Were they Satan worshippers? I guess. Yes. I don't know. I like this movie to a certain extent like I really enjoyed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre formula that they had but it's this movie gets rough I was expecting half the turns the cops get there they find them with the quickness and then they die like what but anyways thank you for watching the movie with me thank you for tuning in thank you to my subscribers who make good suggestions like this you know I appreciate all of my suggestions and it is still the month of October, almost almost Christmas, <laughs> almost Halloween, like a few days. So happy Halloween to all of my good gore friends out there. But anyways, you know how I do. It's always a pleasure. <laughs>